So uh, four and a half years ago, I, I made the most important and uh, the most empowering decision I ever made in my life. And that was basically to, to start the education in training up to rely on the nature of my intelligence, the true nature of my intelligence. Not the intelligence that I thought was limited and locked into my brain. Not the intelligence that I had learned to use in certain ways, like reacting in certain ways to special circumstances, learn habits on how to relate, you know, all these things you learn throughout a lifetime. Not that intelligence, but the intelligence that is who I truly am in any moment, anywhere, at any time. An intelligence that we all house. An intelligence which is who we are as human beings in our most optimal form. An intelligence that just always has as its immediate result pure benefit for yourself and everyone. It's an open intelligence, opening up more and more for each moment to simply guide you, support you and show you how you can trust that all that you say and do and are is of most benefit in each time, place and circumstance. So you don't need to think about it. What you gain is a more and more trust that this is so already you get assured that this is so already. So to meet this training as I did four and a half years ago with just finding it on internet basically and just seeing and resonating with it so clearly and deciding that you know this this is what I, I have to do basically. I have to give this to myself and I have to give this to the world. Because I started to see more and more that I had defined my life based on my random thoughts and emotions, my random learned ideas about my life, about reality, about society, about the world, about how to rela relate, how to be. But I never really checked in my own life if that was how I really would like to relate, how that was really how I wanted to be. I just copied others and I didn't question it. This training has allowed me to check for myself what is true. And I have never seen that anywhere. An education that always guides you back to your own direct experience and not someone else's. So it's about time that we are empowered to use our own experience to find solutions to use our own experience of life to see what is true. I mean, I was so tired of copying ideas. I was so tired of defending ideas that I just decided to believe in. Ideas about reality, what's right and wrong, you know, all these things that you just so strongly believe in and you have to argue and defend it all the time. I was exhausted by that because it didn't resonate. But now I can sit up here, feel so completely relaxed and 100% assured that I know what the true reality is through my own experience. So one example is that I can sit here today and this is the biggest result of this training manifesting in me. In this very moment, I don't want to change any of my thoughts and emotions. I don't want to get rid of anything that I think and feel. Nothing. I, because I know that I am fine, I'm totally safe, I'm totally stable, regardless of what I think and feel. Every human being wants that in their life, and now you have the opportunity to educate yourself, to rely on that open intelligence. Nature it, intelligence itself that's always been who you are, but you have not have a support system for you to recognize that that's who you are. 
So one practical example, that means that, for instance, if I feel depressed, which is a story I believed in many times, repeating it many times, and I had some habitual reactions to that, meaning I thought I had to be sad because I was depressed. I had to think that something was wrong with me because I was depressed. Now, the shift with the support of this training is that when I, I have an idea about me being depressed or a feeling of that, I'm no longer sad about that. I'm not sad feeling depressed. I'm safe feeling depressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't feel there's something wrong with me because I feel depressed. That's something we learn, but now we open up our experience and we check for ourselves. So, you know, a time will come for sure where humans will look into the history of humans and see. Wow, did they really think that they were limited by what they were thinking and feeling? That's so random, you know. This is just data, all these thoughts, emotions, <laughs> sensations, all of this. This is just random, you know, streaming through humans. How could they believe that they had to be <laughs> limited by that? When, when the, the whole secret, that's not a secret anymore, because now it's totally open for all of us to know that we can just let it be as it is and not let us de define and limit by <coughs> what we think and feel. It's a new way of living human life, but it's a, a way of living life that always have been a possibility for us. But we didn't have a way to claim it, and now we have that. Wow, that's so amazing. We have a way to claim it now for all of us. So we are doing that together here, and it's so, I'm so touched by all of you coming here and testing it in your own experience, because no one can test it for you, so that's a complete pure empowerment for you to decide to implement in your own life. So you can be inspired by me sharing right now, you can be inspired by friends in the community, you can be inspired by all the talks you find free on the website, and that inspiration is your golden motivation to test this in your own life. Otherwise, this will be left as a nice philosophy about life that you resonate with and wow. And just adding it to your long list of things that you have read about from before. <laughs> when I met this training, I decided I didn't want to add it to yet, you know, a long list of, of things to, to say this is reality. I wanted to find out for myself what was true. So this is changing now as more and more people around the world is in this moment testing this. So one time we were sure that the earth was flat. How many think today it's flat? <laughs> you know, nobody. Because we know what is true. So this is what is happening now for human beings all over the world as well. Now we know what is true. And this education that we in this training call the Four Mainstays, which is a support network, basically. It's one single instruction in this training. Short moments of open intelligence repeated many times become continuous. So that means that you test short moments in your life where you, you check for yourself, am I stable, safe, clear, open and available, even if I feel depressed, even if I'm angry, even if I'm so happy, even if I'm so lucky, you know, whatever it is that's going on. Is there something about you that is not affected by what's going on? All this random data playing out. Is there something about you that's not affected by that? If you stop thinking for a moment, you know there is something about you that's always here. Present, ready, available, open, clear, ready to go, ready to be of benefit. Something that's free of all fears. Of wanting to act in certain ways because we want to be liked in certain ways. Something about you that don't care about that. Something about you that couldn't care less about comparing itself to others. 
something that's free, available, open. So if you look in the mirror as a child, and you look in the mirror as 80 years old, of course you see some appearances that has changed, some data has changed, right? But the ability to look is the same. So your fundamental ability to look, to be open, ready, clear, within all your experiences, within all your situations, are always the same. Always the same. So then you come to see that it doesn't matter anymore which data you have going right now. Right now in this chair, what data you have going now. Maybe you're hungry, maybe you're tired, you know, maybe you're thinking about what to eat, maybe you're thinking about your next holiday, maybe, you know, whatever is going on now, doesn't matter. That's not where it matters. It ma matters to take that one single instruction of short moments to test and get assurance of who you are as a human being and stand up for that and share that with others. Share your own experience of doing that and claiming that most important human right that there is to claim today. So we use the support system, this education, with this single instruction we all have a trainer that we can rely on, a trainer that has decided to take this education all the way with all that we are experiencing and we are here to share how it's going. We are sh here to share that it's totally safe. When you open up to your experience in short moments, your, your ability to see your past, present and future is completely clear because wherever you're at, a past memory for instance, where does it happen? Just here, right now. So I, I can just see in my own life that my past is just getting better and better. <coughs> because it's like my decision to, to see in this moment whatever is going on for me, if it's a past memory, will I take a short moment with that, with that or will I indulge in, in victimhood with that? I tried many years of victimhood and I don't want to live like that anymore. So I take a short moment and I see, wow, all is fine. And then, when I see that my life is not about uh, accomplishment of my personal needs, only focusing on that, micromanaging my thoughts, emotions, feelings, to have them in certain perfect ways, I see that my life is about so much more than that. How could I ever think my life was just about micromanaging how I feel and how I think and what I think about others and defending my ideas and insisting on my data being right and not trusting people and you know, oh, ooh. <laughs> who wants to live like that? I don't want to live like that anymore and I'm here to share with you that we, and no one needs to live like that. It's not needed and, and we can just make another decision for ourselves. So then we use the trainer, we use the training media, we, we, we repeat the recognition, the instinctive recognition of who we truly are. It's automatically repeated when reading a text, when listening to a talk. You can think all kinds of things about that. Oh, it's boring, I can't do it, it works for others, not for me. I mean, ideas that we have learned to believe in and now we don't need to believe in it anymore and we can borrow trust from others that have listened to hundreds of talks, have listened to so many or been to so many open meetings and not giving up. Because your ability to, cle to clearly see yourself, all your ideas, all your habits, all that has ever limited you in your life can be overwhelming if you are not ready and open and available to be supported. <coughs> so much sadness can come up maybe, or oh, why did I treat myself and others in this way when I was reacting and insisting on my data all the time? All this harm I caused. 
I've seen that in my own life, going through divorce, going through so many things in my life, at my workplace, angry at my boss, angry at my family members, all of this, you know, and I see now why I did it. And I'm so happy, I'm supported to see myself so clearly and not stop anywhere. Because the freedom that you always long for in your life is through your own experience and seeing it clearly, not to get rid of any experience, not to get rid of any data and not to think that you need freedom to look a certain way and that it has to be dependent on certain circumstances. It's never been dependent on certain circumstances. Your empowerment as a human being to really see and use your uniqueness, your abilities to contribute, to support others, to use your gifts, strengths and talents to something much more than a self-accomplishment project has always been available. And to me, I can only share that it's the biggest relief ever to not be so wrapped up in describing my own data, comparing my data to others, trying to fit in, or thinking that whenever I'm depressed there is something wrong. You know, I, I had this realization that, all right, depression is here today, this moment, maybe I will be depressed forever. Maybe that is just me. Someone maybe are missing a leg and I have depression forever. It was such a freedom then, because I realized that I am fine while feeling depressed. I have tested this. I, I can see that I can work on my computer feeling depressed. I can answer the phone feeling depressed. I can talk to people feeling depressed. But before I, I thought I couldn't. I thought it limited me that I had to stay at home. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. So what I did one time feeling so depressed, I went to the mirror, took short moments and looked at myself in the mirror. I was like, am I really depressed? I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it anywhere. So test that. Take short moments in the mirror, wherever you have anything you don't like about yourself. And then you see for yourself, you're so much more than your thoughts and emotions. So much more than the ideas about yourself. If you don't believe it, test it. <laughs> I wish, you know, sometimes that we had a bubble here. So you can just simultaneously see my thoughts and my emotions, my physical <laughs> sensations. Because <laughs> maybe, you know, you would have believed that what I'm saying is completely true. <laughs> but you're left with just believing it <laughs> and take the inspiration and motivation. And uh, I, I, um, I would encourage anyone to use as much time as you have available to be with community online or face to face. Uh, because it's uh, not rocket science that we learn from each other, we copy from each other. And I, I thank you personally, each and one of you here, that have showed me so much of what is possible for me too. When I see how you work together, when I see how you react in situations where I conventionally had been trained to, oh, that person has to be angry on that person now, or that person has to react this way, and I see it's not happening. So you demonstrate it. So to be in the community, to serve in the community, is uh, on the job training. That's where we learn. We get courage to test it in our own experience. So again, it's not about the data we have around our service positions. It's about what would we like to do with those data. So in a way, we'd start to see that the more data we see, the more opportunities we have to learn about life and learn about ourselves. Yeah, so thank you for doing this together. Because obviously that's what's happening right now. And, and that's the only way we can change the world. And we are doing it. So I'm 
this was my biggest wish for my life and for the world. So I'm just very, very grateful for every short moment that you want to take and that you have taken already. Thank you.